Hello and welcome back to the glory that is Final Fantasy IX. Tempted to just get in some quick encounters here actually on this area to level everyone up. Should I do that? Um, yeah, we'll do that. Shouldn't I'm not going to sit here for very long, so I'm not actually going to end the recording. You guys can just uh, sit with me while I do this for a brief period of time. This is entirely unnecessary. The reason I'm doing this is to make uh, these early boss fights easier. Oh, he was backwards. Hey, we won. Oh yeah, I forget it. Um, this game's experience is weird. It's it splits the monster XP between everyone. So those monsters normally, when you when you're just leveling Zidane, give you 21. But because there's three people here, it gives everyone seven, which is actually remarkably annoying, and it really slows down leveling. But it's not like these enemies are difficult to kill. So apparently, this is going to take a wee bit longer than I anticipated because I forgot the fact that it splits experience. Unfortunately. Also, yes, Steiner's arm disappears. Sorry, right. it's because I'm. I'm using a mod for an older version of the game, so I think that's, uh... Some of the fixes that were in that update are not actually being employed in this version of the game, unfortunately. Anyway, this is basically what I do off-camera when I'm leveling, so... You're not really... Well, that was a weird camera. You're not really missing out on a whole lot. We'll do two more battles, and then that'll be more than enough. The game's really anticipating everyone being about level 2 or 3, and since the dame's so much higher, and we have this extra equipment from stealing, which the game's not built around expecting you to steal these items, so we have these items way ahead of when the game is expecting us to have them. Which is good. Having items ahead of schedule is uh, always beneficial. I think this should be a level, right? Yeah. Alright. Left of that, because it's going to take 900 hours to continue leveling at this rate, and then we'll get uh, better leveling opportunities la later anyway. Doo -doo. I mean, they are your band. I expect you probably hire people who are not bad. I like how everyone says, okay, boss, or that guy says, all right. Except for the dude playing the trumpet. It's great. Enough of that nonsense. Let's continue on our journey to the black abyss that is that zone transition. I think somewhere in this forest there's a... Um, yeah, here it is. It's a Moogle that lives out here for whatever reason, and a place to heal, which is actually quite useful. A spring! Active time event! This is a forced one. You could tell because it was grey. He's sending Blank off to Lindblom with a map. I know what he's doing, but you guys may or may not. I'm trying not to spoil anything. Uh, this is apparently money. A letter from Koopo. I think Queen Braun is up to something, but I suspect Princess Garnet even more. She might leave home soon with a prince on a white horse. Well, I'm not on a white horse, but you're not mostly wrong. You have no mail. I just received a letter from Skit Stiltskin. I'm in a very cold place right now. It's really strange. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here before I get trapped in ice. I know where he is, but... I don't think... I want mail. Yeah, we don't have any other mails we can do anything with. Did I already do this? I think I did, but we're gonna do it again. Extra restored health and whatnot, and I don't think there's any treasure. Just a, a save and a heal location. Basically free tent for all intents and purposes. 
otherwise tents are expensive. Especially early game. Hello. You're very grainy, my friend. I wish they had higher versions of higher resolution versions of those too, but those aren't actually FMVs, unfortunately. It's all right though. There she is, princess, etc., etc., princess, princess, princess. To battle! I don't know why I said it like that, but I did, so here we are. This is again a battle that's usually not particularly hard, but sometimes can be annoying. Um, probably should not add auto on for that, but we'll be right. I need sword magic. Now, unfortunately, this dude does cause blind, which is very, very annoying. Let me focus. Thankfully, you can steal eye drops from him. But that does 90 damage, that's good to know. Now, this does, I'm pretty sure, use uh, Steiner's MP and not VV's MP, despite the fact that VV is the one casting the magic, but whatever. If you don't know what Focus does, it. Um, heal you shouldn't. Know. I use a high potion because I'm. Uh, I use a potion. Potions outside of battle heal more than inside of battle, I think. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, focus um, increases his magic attack power. I don't remember how long it lasts or how many times you can stack it, though, so. That's a thing to keep in mind, I suppose. Go ahead and cast fire. I'm not going to sit around and make sure I steal every possible item, because he's already dead. Um, I will just steal while I'm... Oh wait, he's not dead yet. I'll steal while I'm fighting stuff. So. We do need to heal, though. Well, never mind. We do need to revive, though. Grenade revives people with basically no health, unfortunately. So I'm pretty sure that... Thunder attack with like one shot BB. Well, definitely he's gonna kill BB now, so we should probably heal him. Hey, we stole the Iron Helm, so that's all we can steal now. There's always two items. We can go ahead and end this fight, especially since Blank's here. Blank is very powerful. I want to make sure everyone's alive at the end of this fight as well. There we go. Because otherwise they don't get the AP from the boss encounter. Which usually, especially later in the game, puts them pretty far behind on the AP gain there. Please get a hold of yourself. Now we run! Instead of going immediately the most logical location of back the way we came, we're going to run this way. Every time you touch one of those you get into an encounter. There's not a whole lot of reason to intentionally run into them though. Is it treasure? Somewhere around here is a force encounter. Maybe there's not a treasure. I don't remember exactly, but there is that force encounter. Everyone likes a good old encounter. I mean, I did turn off this battle camera, but um, it doesn't seem to care. It, it saved my other settings, but it doesn't seem to care about my battle camera, unfortunately. Ow. See what I mean about more stuff going on with four people instead of just sitting around doing nothing? Now we're mostly sitting around doing nothing. Which is technically even better. And he learned fire. Oops. We're gonna quickly check something here. 
Oh, it is equipment that I wanted. Never mind, ignore me. What was fire was the staff? We don't have another staff. Ooh, a couple of hats, though. So there's that. He hasn't finished learning thunder yet. That's all that matters, so. How close is Steiner, actually? Not at all. The skills take 500 hours to learn, unfortunately. What are you doing? Take care of everyone, Blink. It means Zidane's gonna kill himself. In order, in order to protect everyone. Oh man, high death cutscene. Paper is so bouncy. The sound just suddenly cuts off after that. That imbecile. Yeah, Blank's dead. We don't need him anyway, so... Look at this sweet tent. I love how the tents have the Moogle thing, puff ball on the top of them, which wiggles very oddly. I'd like to point that out. She's awake! As Vivi runs away. Well, technically I have rescued her. That's why I have a dagger to deal with the vicious monsters it spawns. I mean, she literally just woke up, though. This this guy. Very well. Good job, Steiner. You've managed to accomplish the one job you had. Tis the forest. is actually a way to cure him. Which I know is technically a spoiler, but 
be honest, if I can manage to spoil something about this game, given how old it is, I'd be amazed. I think at this point we know more or less everything you possibly can about the game. Given how long people have been freaking clearing the game and speedrunning it and stuff. Hello. Tis Monty. How you got out of there, I'm not entirely sure, but... Before you go out to the world, Mogster will teach you a few things. This is the part where I entirely skip every single thing on this menu. So this is the tutorial Moogle. Um, he gets new stuff every once in a while, but... Help menu we know about battles, basic abilities and trance we've already been shown, icons that appear over the head are basic, and save Moogles we already know about because they're saves. That's where you save. Very simple. Now if, um, if it is your first time playing the game, and you happen to be playing it right now for whatever reason, I would recommend you... Also we get the sweet flute. I would recommend you actually read through those, even if you think you already know everything. Press B to play it. Okay. Especially later on with some of the more advanced advanced tutorials, there can be some useful information in there for new players. And I accidentally skipped through Steiner's dialogue. Who goes there? So, this is apparently a thing. Switch perspective, enter buildings, ride a vehicle is X for some reason. Which is normally the back button, I think. That doesn't make any sense. Call Moogle, toggle navigation. Toggle navigation does nothing. It just wiggles the camera. It's fair enough. Um, so we got a flute, which does this. Calls a Moogle and allows us to save and tint on the map. If you continue calling him without requiring him, it's a, it's a lot of time, so I'm not going to show it, but um, if you continue calling him without doing anything, immediately canceling out of the menu, he eventually gets really mad at you and threatens to stab you with a knife. So I just thought I'd let you know about that little tidbit information, but. Our destination is not the direction I am currently going, if you are curious. Yeah, that transition took forever. We're just gonna auto this. Auto it and fast forward while we run around the world map here. We got a goblin card, sweet. The direction we need to go is not the direction I am currently going. This is the north gate, I believe. And there is some treasure here, if I'm not mistaken. There might also be some treasure on the south gate, but I don't actually remember. Anyway, these are the encounters that are in the area. I will actually, for the most part, um, when running around while recording on the world map, except for the first time we go into an area, such as this right now, I will be turning off the random encounters. So here we are. This is the North Gate? Yeah. Lies between Alexandria and Bermicia. Some very wiggly flags going off there. That is Alexandria's war banner. So... You can probably surmise what's going on based on Garnet's response to Steiner's stupidity. She obviously... There's the direct, there's where we're supposed to be going, by the way. We can't do anything here, apparently. It's the other one. Steiner knows nothing compared to what uh, Garnet knows about what's going on. Call out to someone inside. Yeah, sure, why not? Hello. A woman's voice. It's a trick. <laughs> As he starts stretching. I sell medicine. Oh yeah, she sells you potions and stuff, I think.
Buy some medicine. It's just basic potions and stuff. Yeah. 50 gil each. How many do you want? We have t we have nine. We can buy a billion of them if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm actually just going to buy 11. We will confirm that and then leave. And head to the other gate, which is the south gate. Can you guess what direction the south gate is in? Yes, it is the south. Congratulations, you are a genius. Also snakes. Who have an ability called rapid fire that causes the camera to go into the ground, apparently. Ooh, frame rate. Whoa, random encounter already. That was crazy fast, good lord. It's going to be a long time before we're actually back in this area. But, you know, I'm not going to turn off the encounters quite yet. We need the experience, we need the AP, we need the gill. And I am going to be running around anyway. Now I will point out that there are different encounters in forests than there are in areas that are not forested. This includes, but is not limited to, uh, friendly enemies. Which I think the first friendly enemy we can encounter is the forest after the cave. Or uh, a forest near the exit of the cave that we're about to be going to. I don't think they can spawn here. There's the cave, by the way. We, however, are not going there quite yet. I feel like the random encounter rate is way higher than I remember it being, but I am also running at twice the speed, so... There's Protect Girls, by the way. It's actually quite useful once Garnet's in the party. Considering she is the, the summoner slash white mage, she tends to have relatively low health. Can we actually even get to the gate this way? I don't think we can. Now that I'm looking at this. I thought there were, I thought you could... Um... That's a lot of damage to do. I thought you could get to the south gate and there were some items that you pick up. But seem to be incapable of finding the gate, but perhaps I was wrong and there are in fact no no items to pick up. Yeah, there's the gate, so we can't get to the gate. That is unfortunate. We'll go ahead and heal everyone mostly up. That's good enough. Then run back this way. The freaking camera is weird and I hate the controls for moving the camera on keyboard. Controls in general are fine on keyboard. They're not oh, good. They're not particularly unusual. It's just that um, moving the camera is on G and H instead of arrows because the arrows are moved. You can move with arrows or WASD. He's now learned thunder. I'm gonna VV's equipment here. Change that to nothing, never mind. The G and H is, oh, god dang it. Should turn off random encounters, but we're about to be in the cave anyway. G and H is rotate camera. Fortunately. Just as something slightly more useful, like the arrows or even numpad would have been fine, I don't care. Good job, team. You did it. You also got a phoenix down for your troubles. The cave should be right here. There it is. But before we go into that cave, we're once again going to heal, and this is why I bought potions. That's good enough. We're also going to slow the game down, because it's going way too fast too much. We're going to summon our Moogle and also end this video. Then the next video will be going through that cave and whatever else is in the future for us. Already been playing this for two hours, apparently. Actually, quite a lot of time already. Considering we've made basically no progress, but it is a JRPG meant to last like 50 hours, so whatever. We've been there, done that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.